Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here and welcome to my reaction and predictions for the Champions League round of 16. We are moments away at the time of recording anyway from the draw being done and seeing who is going to get who in the round of 16 of the Champions League. If you missed or did not see my reactions to my group stage predictions, then be sure to go back and look at that because... I absolutely, I mean, spoilers, smashed it. I was very, very happy with how I finished it. Of course, the prediction got. Of course I would do well. I've been killing it lately, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm a humble guy, but I, I just speak facts. I got four out of eight groups completely perfect, and I was this damn close to getting five out of eight. And I got 15 out of the 16 teams that would progress correct as well. Damn you, Benfica, for being so trash, and damn you, Ajax, for being so bloody good. But anyway, what I'm going to do today is react to the draws as they happen and give you my first-time initial reactions and thoughts to when I hear about the team light or about the fixtures, and then I'll go off, I'll maybe think about it a bit more, and give you my official predictions for the round of 16. Now, just before we get started with the random 16 group draw, the prediction and everything, I want to let you know that this video was brought to you by Top 11. Top 11, if you don't know, is a free mobile game which is available on both iOS and Android. Pretty much, it is a game that allows you to create your own club and it has got a bunch of awesome features in it. You can do everything from playing around with your own squad, you can set up the team formations, the lineups, everything like that. You can make transfers, you can scout new players to put into your team as well. There are leagues, there are cup competitions, Champions League as well. You can play with your mates as well. And you can also, this is by the way, one of my favorite things about Top 11, you can build your own stadium, uh, youth academies, facility, like all the facilities are totally upgradable. It is by far the number one thing that I love about this app. And I, it's the one thing I kind of want to see more of in other games, but Top 11 smashed this. You can build your own stadium from a small little tiny boutique stadium that can only maybe hold a thousand people to a massive gigantic stadium that can hold nearly a hundred thousand. You upgrade the rest of your facilities as well, like car parking, training centers, youth academies, and you know, all that stuff. And on top of that, pretty much everything else is customizable as well, down to kits, emblems, all that sort of good stuff. It's kind of the sort of game that, especially in my opinion, if you're playing on mobile, will keep you occupied for a long damn time. So lads, be sure to check out Top 11. You can click the link in the description down below to play the game now for free. And of course, by doing so, you're not just going to get a game that should keep any football fan occupied, but you'll also be supporting the channel as well. Thanks again so much to Top 11 for sponsoring this video, but now back into the Champions League draw. They draw runners up first, and the first one out is Schalke. Okay. Hurry up, Luis Garcia. What are you doing? Manchester City get Schalke. Well, all right. Immediately, you know I'm thinking that Man City's winning that. Schalke was one of the... I think there's two teams out of the runners-up that I thought were easy beats, almost regardless of whoever they got. That's one. Again, not my official prediction. Now for the next one coming up. It's going to be Atletico Madrid. Again, definitely not one of the teams I thought that finished in second place in their group that would be easy beats by any stretch. And they've taken it out. It's going to be Juventus versus Atletico Madrid. That is actually a damn good matchup for the round of 16. Atletico Madrid, obviously, are the team that are going to be hosting, or their stadium, at least, is going to be hosting the, uh, the whole final. So uh, it'd be nice if they made it all the way through. The next one's out, and it's Manchester United. Manchester United, obviously, been underperforming. And will Jose Mourinho be the manager when they played this round of 16 fixture. I don't know. There's a lot of chit-chat going on right now as uh, Luis Garcia pulls out. And it's going to be PSG that go up against Manchester United. That is another very big, very interesting fixture. God damn, that's going to be a good one. I don't know which one I'm going to watch. Is it Atletico Juventus? That's probably still the one. The next one that's out the ball is Tottenham Hotspur. They could potentially get Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, or the team I'm sure they would want, which is FC Porto. Are they going to get it, though? Luis Garcia has selected the ball. What is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be Dortmund. Oh, that's interesting. Another one as well. Man, these are some good matchups we're getting in the round of 16. Tottenham Hotspur versus Borussia Dortmund. Quite possibly, now that Bayern Munich haven't really been at their best, 
the damn best team in, in Dortmund right now. So, no, no shit. They're the best damn team in Germany. The next one out, Leon. This is a team that has been quite decent so far this season, but I don't know if they've got the, the ability to go on and beat a team like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, or again, FC Porto. If Leon end up getting Porto, then that's... No offense, easily the one fixture I don't necessarily have that much of an interest in watching, and I don't think a lot of other people will feel the same way, but are they going to get him? They aren't. They're going to get Barcelona. Leon versus Barcelona. That is another very, very interesting one, and again, I can't even give my thoughts on it because it's straight out again the next one, which is AS Roma. I had a bit of a feeling that either AS Roma and Barcelona were going to get matched up together in round of 16, or maybe it would be Real Madrid versus Liverpool, which... To be fair, could still happen. I mean, Real Madrid and Liverpool still yet to be drawn. And Real Madrid obviously can't get drawn against Roma since they were in the same group. So who's it going to be? Will it be Porto or will it be Bayern? It's going to be Porto. All right then. So uh, Roma versus Porto. Maybe not the biggest fixture in the round of 16, but uh, I'm sure both clubs will be happy with who they got, to be fair. Now, I said that Liverpool and Real Madrid were going to get drawn together, and I got a really, really good feeling that it's going to happen. Who is the next runner-up taken out? It is going to be Ajax. Okay, Ajax are one of the teams that really surprised me and are actually quite decent. I didn't think they were going to be uh, dark horses to go on and win the competition. Not that good, but it turns out... Oh, it actually turns out that they cannot get by uh, Bayern, so it means they are going to get Real Madrid. Um, yeah, I know that Ajax, are, they're good. Ajax are playing very, very well right now, but I don't know if even a struggling Real Madrid side, they'll be able to topple. I, I don't know. But it clearly means that the other match is going to be Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. Wow, that is another big matchup. Of course, we know Bayern Munich love to pull an English team in the round of 16. They wipe the floor with them. It's Pretty much, essentially, just Arsenal that they absolutely do over, but they're clearly not in the Champions League. But there we go. They are the eight fixtures in the round of 16. Now, I'm going to go away, think about this, and give you my predictions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through this with the first match of the round of 16, and it is, of course, Man City versus Schalke. There were two teams that I had maybe, regardless of whoever they got, I didn't see them getting past the round of 16. I didn't give them much of a chance. Schalke was one of them. And the other one was maybe probably Leon, if it's just serving me off memory. Well, even if it wasn't, it's definitely Leon now since they got Barca. But, I mean, still, we'll stick with the game that we've got here. Schalke and uh, Man City. Uh, I think, again, fairly safe to say Manchester City should get past it. I'm not even going to dwell that much on this one. I'm just saying that Man City should beat Schalke. Next one, and probably the biggest fixture out of them all. There are some nice ones in there, but... This one for me, I think, is the toughest to call and probably going to be one of the more entertaining. It will be Atletico Madrid versus Juventus, the team that is their stadium hosting the final versus Juventus. And I, I just, I really am struggling. Obviously, Atletico Madrid were the runners up and Juventus are the team that obviously topped their group. But I still don't think Juve or Atletico Madrid are any stronger than the other. I don't think this is the best Atletico Madrid team that we have seen for a long, long time. They're definitely a good side, but I think this Juventus team could well be, especially since they acquired Ronaldo, quite possibly the best Juventus team since their era of dominance in Serie A. They are prone to slipping up and having some bad games as we saw against Young Boys, for example. Even that game, they could have probably still sneaked a draw from if it wasn't for Ronaldo getting in the way of Dybala's shot. I reckon... Uh Oh, I, I knew Juventus. I had a feeling Juventus were going to go deep in this competition, regardless of who they got. But man, Atletico Madrid. Is that not the toughest team that they could have pulled? I, I still think, regardless of all that, that Juventus will go through in this one. And I think it will be close. I don't think it will be a walk in the park for either of these sides. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be a tough matchup. But it's going to be an entertaining very, very exciting matchup, and I'm just giving it to Juventus. Now on to the next one, and isn't this going to be fun? Manchester United versus PSG. And by fun, I mean one team trying to score and one team trying to desperately not concede. I cannot wait. That is going to be jokes. This is going to be amazing, and I don't know uh, if we can look into the future and see Jose Mourinho managing this game for Manchester United, but even if they do... You've got to imagine that if they do sack him and bring someone else in, is he really going to completely change the way the team plays? Uh, maybe if 
he has an entire January transfer window to try to sort it out. Who knows? Whoever that person's going to be. It's a big question mark surrounding Manchester United. I when I when I said that Manchester United would finish second in their group, I I, I came this close to not even putting them in the top two at all. Because they were so dire at the beginning of the season that I genuinely didn't know if they were going to go on and get out of their group. They definitely weren't on the basis of play that we had seen up to that point. But they eventually corrected things, got a little bit better. And I do feel like Manchester United are, just as a whole, getting just a little bit better every single month. And they have a couple of backward steps here or there. But for the most part, they always gradually just get along. But it, it seems like that's definitely not going to be enough for Manchester United or for Mourinho to keep his job. We will see if he does or not. But still, you're looking at PSG. I had them as one of the strongest top, top teams in Europe and a potential winner of this competition. So I just, it's, it's a very attacking, outright, it, very entertaining style of football up against a really passive and not super fun uh, defensive uh, you know, I don't, I don't really like describing Manchester United's play of how they go about it, especially against the top teams that I think Mourinho knows that would they would just completely rip them apart. I'm not expecting PSG to do that, but I'm expecting them to get past Manchester United. And yeah, I will say PSG will win this one. Next one up is Tottenham versus Dortmund. Now another very good game. I'm looking forward to again. Probably not the game I'm the most excited for out of all of them out of the an, a brilliant amount of amazing round of 16 fixtures that we got but Tottenham versus Dortmund I think it can guarantee you good football I think if this fixture would have happened a couple of years ago I'd maybe lean toward Tottenham but uh, I don't think I can give this to Tottenham I, I really don't think I can give it to Tottenham I mean have you seen how Dortmund have been playing this season they have been incredible and they have got so many like maybe not so many new names but fresh faces like Jadon Sancho who has completely just taken Christian Pulisic who by no stretch of the imagination wasn't necessarily doing poorly but he was a good player for them and Sancho was completely eliminated from their starting lineup they've just consistently gotten better and they rightfully are top of the Bundesliga they play exquisite sensational football and I really do think they are going to be a danger in this competition and I think, Dor I think Dortmund are going to knock out Tottenham for sure Actually, you know, for sure is a tough one. This this entire match is a tough one, but I will give this to Dortmund. Next up is Leon versus Barcelona, and another very interesting draw. I don't think this is as straightforward as some people are making it out to be. Does everyone remember that Leon took it to Manchester City and got four points out of six against them? I, I think it was. They beat them in their last game against them, but I think they drew the first. Then again, they are going up against Messi, the best player in the world in Barcelona, so it will be it'll be tricky for them. But at the same time, if they can dominate a team, or maybe not dominate, but if they can do well. Uh, Leon against a team like Man City that play maybe not exactly like Barcelona but quite similarly you know pressing high trying to win the ball back nice and early and dominating possession of the ball then I think that maybe they could cause an upset and we know that Barcelona haven't exactly been the strongest team in the Champions League knockouts whether it be the round of 16 or the quarterfinals as of late in the last couple of years so I reckon you maybe could potentially I'm not I'm going to say look I'm not going to give my shock prediction here I might do it later on but I will say Barcelona get through this I don't think they'll romp them or anything like that I think it will be close and I think that everyone that says this is an easy draw for Barca clearly have not seen that much of Leon in the Champions League this season okay I think they are going to be a bit of a threat to Barcelona but maybe not quite get through all the way now for the next one Roma versus Porto now some people Compare, comparing it to some of the other round of 16 games, you know, some people may call it boring. I call it balanced. I think Roma did reasonably well considering the group that they had and considering that they had to go up against Real Madrid. So they were probably always going to finish in second. But I think just because they finished runners up in their group when they were paired up with Real Madrid, even if Real Madrid are sort of maybe not at their best, I, I don't know. I think that um, I think that Roma should be able to get through into this one. I did say that Porto would make it through. I think I had them in second in their group. I might have had them first. I'm not sure. But regardless, Roma, I think, will just edge this one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you at least one shock prediction for one of these next two games. I am still, even now, debating whether or not my shock prediction will be in this one or the one after but this is the next game, the seventh match of the round of 16. It will, of course, 
the Ajax versus Real Madrid. And listen, this is coming from me, all right? I did not put Ajax in my top two when I did my group stage prediction. They were the only team that I did not get correct as for who was going to move on. I put Benfica in, in their place. Ajax have been tremendous from everything I've seen. And not just in the Champions League, but even in the uh, Eredivisie. They just won a game recently like 8-0. And oh my God, they have some talent. I honestly feel like Ajax feel like more of a unit than Real Madrid do. And I really, even though Real Madrid have clearly much better players on paper, I think that this Ajax team is so well drilled and so cohesive and brilliant. Every time I've seen them, they play great or awesome football. I think some people may have seen a club like Ajax and thought, oh yeah, we'd definitely take them in the round of 16. Compared to some others, wouldn't blame them. But no, this Ajax team is actually capable of causing an upset. I felt like maybe if they got a slightly weaker team, I would have gone for them. But this is Real Madrid. They are the three times champions in it. Am I really going to say they're going to get knocked out in the round of 16 when they've won it three times in a row to a club like Ajax who've just got a bunch of bloody kids playing for them? You have no idea how badly I want to do it. I want to show some balls and... Ah, I just can't do it though. I've got to give it to Real Madrid. I'm going to regret this, all right? Just like I nearly said that Liverpool would win the Premier League over Man City in my Premier League predictions, and now I'm starting to regret not showing some uh, some courage with that prediction. There's still a bit of a way to go, but... God, I, I swear I'm this close. I'm this close to giving it to Ajax. Oh, mm, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to give it to Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Yeah, no, lock it in, Real Madrid. I'm probably going to regret that. Uh, I don't know. I, I, if Ajax do get through, then I, at least I have said that I believe they are very, very capable of doing so. And that, I guess, will be enough for me to get by. But I'll still be regretting it if they do. But Real Madrid, you better f***ing get through. And for the final match in the round of 16, the eighth match of it, it's another very good one. It's Liverpool versus Bayern Munich. You're looking at quite possibly the best, if not second best team in, in England. I know that Liverpool are undefeated, but I, I just because Man City have lost one game against a good side like Chelsea, I, I don't want to... I, I don't think we can absolutely say clear-cut who is the best team out of Liverpool and Man City in the Premier League right now. I just don't think we can yet. But I, I do know that Bayern are struggling in their own league. They're currently third right now underneath Borussia Mönchengladbach and Borussia Dortmund. The bloody Borussias are dominating. And on top of that, Mo Salah and co. seem to be just as strong as ever, despite some people saying that Mo Salah was a one-season wonder four or five games in. And I reckon... Uh, I, I know I promised you a bit of a shock prediction, and uh, it, to be honest... Part of me, for some weird reason, thought, oh, Bayern Munich beating Liverpool would kind of almost be the safe pick. But now that I really think about it, no, nah, not really, is it? It's definitely Liverpool that you. I think a lot of people would expect to win this fixture. I don't know why, when the two teams were drawn against each other, I just had this weird uh, feeling. I don't know. I just thought, oh, Bayern Munich were maybe the team that slightly edged that. But after sitting down and thinking about it a little bit, no, it's... For me, definitely Liverpool. Well, I guess I, I'm i not going to come out with a big shock prediction overall. I'm, I, I don't normally play it safe all the way through my predictions here, but it looks like I'm going to do it. I'm going to say Liverpool are going to get the win over Bayern Munich. Uh, we will see if I regret any of those. The one, the one, If I get any wrong, if I get any one of these games wrong, then okay, fine. But if that game is Ajax versus Real Madrid, I am going to be pissed. But anyway, lads, we are finished for this Random 16 reaction and prediction video. Of course, it is now your time to tell me who you think is going to win the Random 16 matches. Let me know all your eight winners that are going to go through and what you think of my predictions. And I, I don't know, just let us know what you think. Till the next time, the next reaction and prediction. My name is The Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.